Greetings, horror enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, where the shadows hold secrets and the eerie whispers of spine-chilling tales come to life. Today, we're taking a daring plunge into the abyss of cinematic terror, venturing into the very heart of darkness to unearth the most malevolent entities that have sent shivers down our spines and etched their nightmarish presence into the annals of horror history. So brace yourselves, dear viewers, for a descent into the shadows where unspeakable horrors wait. Join us as we unravel the sinister tales behind the top 10 horror movie villains, entities that have transcended the screen to become icons of fear, embodying the very essence of what it means to send a collective shudder through the souls of audiences everywhere. From classic monsters to psychological tormentors, our journey promises to be a roller coaster of fear, exploring the evolution of horror cinema and the timeless villains who had stood the test of time. So grab your popcorn, dim the lights, and prepare for a chilling exploration into the dark recesses of the cinematic realm as we unveil the malevolent masterminds that have left an everlasting imprint on our nightmares. Welcome to the abyss of horror. You may never look at the shadows the same way again. <laughs> Number 10. Jason Voorhees, the Friday the 13th franchise. Jason Voorhees' evolution began as a moss-covered boy who leaped out of Crystal Lake in Friday the 13th, 1980. But Jason eventually, and unbelievably, evolved into an Arnold Schwarzenegger-esque cyborg in Jason X, 2001. All these iterations have one thing in common, though. Jason cannot be killed. Friday the 13th director C. Ness Cunningham and writer Victor Miller began the character's arc by casting Ari Lehman as the teenage Jason who attacks Alice, Adrienne King, in the original film. However, had Cunningham's wife not objected, the filmmaker planned to cast his own son, Noel, in the part. Number 9. Godzilla, the Godzilla Franchise Pound for pound, there's not a deadlier horror villain on this list than the King of the Monsters. Sure, sometimes he's an old softy and takes up the mantle of hero, but Godzilla was pure evil when he first appeared in Gojira 1954. A symbol of nuclear destruction, Godzilla trampled Japan and scorched it with his fiery, atomic breath. Arguably, Godzilla's most memorable kill comes against a lowly, misguided war veteran who believes the beast cares about him in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. 1991. Number 8. Freddy Krueger, The Nightmare on Elm Street Franchise. Miss me. 1 2. Freddy's Coming for You. The Dream Stalker Freddy Krueger, Robert England, is the most unique of all the slasher villains and the most dangerous because he can invade his victims' dreams. And if Krueger kills someone in the dream world, they die in real life. A Nightmare on Elm Street. 1984 is by far and away the scariest of the franchise's installments. But with each passing picture, Kruger's personality becomes more and more flamboyant. Just killing the Elm Street children wasn't good enough for Kruger. No, he had to taunt them with one of his infamous one-liners before offing them. And England won the coveted role after David Warner left the project due to a scheduling conflict. Number 7. Joe's Face, The Screen Franchise What's your favorite scary movie? Don't answer that question over the phone, because this is Joe's face's trademark taunt. However, what's even more ingenious in setting them apart from other horror villains is how the killer offs their victims by using the rules of horror films against them. Several actors donned the iconic guise of Joe's face in the Scream franchise, but one of the most intriguing is Billy Loomis, Skeet Ulrich, in the original film. Number 6. Candyman, The Candyman Franchise Helen Lyle, Virginia Madsen, finds out that adoration and horror don't mix when she is faced with the attachment of the sinister Candyman, Tony Todd, in the 1992 film classic. Please note, the author of this piece took special care not to write Candyman's name down too many times in a row, because conjuring one of horror's all-time villains would probably ruin his and everyone else's otherwise pleasant day. 
Number 5. Michael Myers, The Halloween Franchise This guy is ruthless. He killed his own sister when he was a kid. Now, as an adult, Michael Myers is a lot like Jason Voorhees in that they're both soft-spoken, slow-walking killing machines that won't die. However, Myers sports the I'm cooler than you William Shatner mask, and Jason looks like he's trying out for a community hockey team. Known as this shape in John Carpenter's Halloween, 1978, Michael doesn't seem to have a rhyme or a reason for his killing spree, and he is seemingly unstoppable. All it took was $300,000 to launch one of the most lucrative and frightening slasher franchises of all time. Number 4. Norman Bates, Psycho We all go a little mad sometimes, says Norman Bates, Anthony Perkins, who represents a number of infamous fictional killers who could arguably make this list. Jack Torrance, Jack Nicholson, Buffalo Bill, Ted Levine, Patrick Bateman, Christian Bale, and even a younger Norman, Freddie Highmore, all garner honorable mentions. What Alfred Hitchcock serial killer is the straw who stirs the drink? It's hard to go into story details without spoilers, but Norman is involved in one of the biggest twist endings of all time. On set, Hitchcock was quite fond of Perkins, and he referred to the actor as Master Bates. Number 3. Frankenstein's Monster – The Frankenstein Franchise Dr. Henry Frankenstein's Colin Clive Creation is a creature of immense strength, but the abnormal brain rotting away in his head makes him incapable of rational thought in Universal Pictures' Frankenstein, 1931. The monster is the precursor to slasher villains like Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees who lumber along on their killing sprees, though this blueprint is far more sympathetic. As ghastly as Frankenstein's monster's accidental drowning of a young girl, Marilyn Harris, is, the creature is much more a victim than a villain, at least in the original movie. Number 2. Hannibal Lecter, Manhunter With no way of stopping the serial murderer known as Buffalo Bill, Special Agent Clarice Starling Jodie Foster is forced to join forces with the brilliant but dangerous Dr. Hannibal Lecter, Anthony Hopkins, in order to catch the savage killer. Fans of the television series Monk may not realize it, but their beloved Captain Stottlemyre is none other than the Buffalo Bill actor himself, Ted Levine. However, it's the cannibal, Hannibal Lecter, who ranks as one of the best horror villains of all time. Number 1. Count Dracula, The Dracula Films Dracula is the most influential horror villain of all time. The Count stalks like a slasher, murders in droves like a serial killer, and is the inspiration for every single vampire movie made after 1931. Dracula's vast powers and his immortality make him the most formidable of any killer on this list, and while Bela Lugosi is most often associated with the character, it was Sir Christopher Lee who made the Count the vile, sadistic creature of the night. There you have it. Our countdown of the top 10 horror movie villains that continue to haunt our dreams. Did your favorite make the list? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more spine-chilling content. Until next time, stay scared.